So I tried Linux on here, uh, Peppermint. Works fine. It's awesome, but you know it's still kind of heavy. It's a little bit slow for this old netbook. Uh, so I found this. It's basically like Chrome OS, but it's modified, so you can use it for old computers, old laptops. It might work on yours. It might not. Mine's not actually supported, but you basically go here, download for 64 or 32 bit. In this case, it's 32 bit because it's an Atom processor. This is a netbook Z56, I do believe. And the installation guide is pretty straightforward. You basically just go through here, get a drive, stab her in there. You want to be putting it on one of those. That's an 8 gig. Uh, go through here. You don't. You can check compatibility, but uh, chances are it's going to work. You may lose some functionality with this. You might lose something like the VG output. Or I'm going to try this, see if it works. But for the most part, just follow the instructions. It's called uh, Neverware. So Google Neverware. That's the actual URL. You'll find that and then it'll basically guide you through these instructions which basically gets you to install a Chrome extension which you can do a backup for Chromium. So then you install Chromium to the thumb drive. There you go, you just install this little plugin down to here. There's your recovery, open recovery. That eventually leads to you to create the USB installer. Same as any other OS for the most part. This one is actually a little bit easier. Uh, then you just go up here to into your settings from the Chromium plugin, and it'll give the option to find your local image. Go to the image you downloaded, select that, and then when you get there, you just basically go to the next step. Okay, it should it, it'll take a while. Right now it's writing like I'm doing this right now, and uh, I'm creating the image. So the next step will just be to take this out of my computer, my Windows machine, plug it into there, reboot with the USB installer in there from the BIOS, and then it tells you like which button to press when you first boot up to get it to boot uh, from the USB directly. On this one, I think it's F10 to select your boot device. That's just an Acer. So it's probably the same on that, but Dell, it says F12, HP, F12, so F12 for generally all laptops, and then you get into the install installation, and then it's just like Windows for the most part, just click, 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 and hopefully it works. So I'll get back to you. You can either dual boot this with your old OS, or you can completely wipe it free. But yeah, Chromium, or aka Chrome OS, can run outside of Chromebooks. We'll give her a shot. It's ready. It's done going over to the uh, thumb drive. So I'm just going to pop this out. Pop it into the old netbook. Booting it up with the USB stick in there. And the button on this is actually F12. I thought it was 10, but you can see now it's going into my boot devices. And the first one that shows up is the USB HDD. That would be this, because it's an USB drive. So just press enter. And this should go into the boot sequence. And we'll see what happens from here. Hopefully it installs and everything works, and if it doesn't work, then we'll put it back on Peppermint Linux, Ubuntu, Windows something, I don't know, it came with Windows 7, I don't know why. Uh, this thing doesn't have enough space for Windows 7. It doesn't have, have an option here to connect to your network, I would do that right now. Try and find your Wi-Fi, or just plug in another cable, and type in your password, and that should update, or hopefully it updates some drivers while it's actually installing. Although that, that is a good sign that it found my actual Wi-Fi. So that means the Wi-Fi will work. If nothing else works, the Wi-Fi works. So now we just got to sign in, create our name, and we'll see if it boots. Sign into my Gmail account. Now we just have to find a picture I like. I'll go for the bokeh. I guess my icon. Is this running now? Howdy. So I can take a tour. Things seem to be running. Please Let's see what works here. All right, so this is going to walk you through how to run the thing. Obviously it works on this. Uh, I'm just going to see what the limitations are. It highly depends. If you look on the website, it will show if your uh, netbook or laptop works. If it doesn't work, try it anyways because this one was not listed as working. And apparently it doesn't work. I will play around here and see what happens with what works and what does not work. Right now you're just running off the memory stick. So once you uh, make sure everything works, I checked out the hotkeys, you know, volume and uh, brightness. That all works and basically internet works, sound works. And from there, you're going to go down to the, da, 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 click on whatever the clock is, and then you want to go up to here where it brings up the pop-up, install, cloud ready, 
This will give you two options uh, to install it over your old OS or to dual boot it. So right now I'm just going to do this where it's going to wipe my entire drive and leave or take off the old OS. So I'm going to do a standalone install and go to a race hard drive and install cloud ready. So in a couple of minutes, maybe like a half an hour, we'll be on Chrome, Chromium. Well, hopefully right now you're looking at a screen with uh, an actual operating Chromium on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so once you get into it, you're basically just going to be using Chrome. That's about it. And the App Store from Google. And if you need a lot of productivity apps or whatever, maybe they'll work. Maybe they won't. You'll have to take this with a grain of salt here because you're working with a bare OS. Anyways, guys, looks like it's uh, some YouTube time. Everything's working. And this should play. I should also mention that the uh, FN keys for brightness and sound, they are functional, as you can see right there. As is the USB ports, Wi-Fi, and everything else. Oh, there we go. Alright, it's a little bit slow, but it works. If you like this video, give her a thumbs up. If you hated it, leave a message and tell me why you hated it. And uh, I'll give you a hug and you'll be happy again. But uh, if not, bye. Chill. Thanks for watching.